Our connection with animals has evolved significantly over time, allowing us to live more comfortably than our ancestors. In the past, however, certain predatory animals roamed the earth, posing significant threats to human populations. Factors such as natural evolution and catastrophic events like meteor impacts. Join us as we explore 15 formidable animals that have thankfully disappeared from existence, relieving us of potential dangers they once posed. Number 15. Saber-Toothed Tiger In the wild world of ancient times, the saber-toothed tiger was the ultimate superstar, grabbing everyone's attention with its tough-as-nails reputation and those famous dagger-like teeth. Back in the Pleistocene era, when humans and mammoths roamed the land, these cats were the real deal. We've dug up their fossils all over the Americas, with some of the coolest finds coming from places like the La Brea Tar Pits in LA. Imagine these big cats strutting around, standing as tall as your average NBA player and weighing about as much as a small car. They weren't built for speed like today's sleek cats, but they were built like tanks with muscles for days. And let's not forget about those teeth. Seriously, they were like something out of a horror movie, measuring longer than a ruler. Now, you'd think with all that muscle and those terrifying fangs, they'd go after anything that moved. But nope, these guys were picky eaters. They had a thing for the big herbivores of their time, like bison and camels. And instead of chasing them down like cheetahs, they were more into the sneaky sneak, lurking in the shadows and pouncing when the time was right. But here's the kicker. Recent discoveries suggest these cats weren't just lone hunters, they had a whole squad. Picture a gang of Smilodons teaming up, with some holding down the prey while others went in for the kill. It's like something out of a nature documentary. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. As climates changed and humans started spreading out, things got tough for our saber-toothed friends. Food became scarce, and they found themselves facing off against us humans for resources. In the end, they couldn't hang on, and their reign came to a close. But hey, they'll always be remembered as the kings of the ancient jungle. Number 14. Megalodon The Megalodon, the undisputed king of the ancient seas, ruled the waves during the time of dinosaurs. This colossal shark, with a name that literally means big tooth in Greek, was no joke. Its teeth were like daggers, some as long as your forearm, and its size was off the charts, 50 to 60 feet long, making even today's great white sharks look like minnows in comparison. Now, when it came to hunting, the Megalodon was a pro. It had a taste for the big stuff, whales, dolphins, seals, you name it. With jaws that could crush a car and teeth sharper than a surgeon's scalpel, it was the ultimate oceanic predator. Fossilized remains of its prey often bear the signature tooth marks of a megalodon feast, and this beast wasn't picky about where it roamed. From the shallows to the deep blue, the megalodon ruled the seas worldwide. It was like the king of the underwater jungle, keeping everything in check by keeping the population of its prey in check. But like all good things, the megalodon's reign eventually came to an end. As the climate changed and the oceans cooled, its favorite hunting grounds started to vanish. With fewer big meals to go around and more competition from other predators, the megalodon found itself on the losing end of the food chain. Eventually, it disappeared from the oceans, leaving behind nothing but fossilized teeth and a legacy of fear. Today, we can only imagine what it must have been like to come face to face with this ancient sea monster. And while its absence from our modern oceans might bring relief to some, its story lives on as a reminder of the incredible creatures that once ruled the seas. Number 13. Helicoprion. Consider the multitude of ancient shark species, each potentially earning a well-deserved spot on our list. Indeed, it's challenging to conjure creatures as feared as the apex predators of the deep blue sea, from the awe-inspiring Great White to the distinctive Hammerhead. Sharks, renowned for their power and prowess, evoke a primal fear for good reason. However, if you've ever stumbled upon the Helicoprion in your studies, you might recognize that this peculiar evolutionary deviation added a whole new layer to the unparalleled destructive potential of shark teeth. Rather than following the conventional path of its shark ancestors, the Helicoprion took a unique approach, 
resembling nothing short of a buzzsaw. Instead of boasting rows upon rows of typical razor-sharp teeth, the Helicoprian sported what scientists refer to as a tooth whirl, a rare evolutionary feature resembling a cross between a circular saw and a conventional jaw. While undeniably terrifying, this adaptation hinted at a different method of predation. Speculations suggest that the Helicoprian might have dismembered its prey through an extended sawing motion, introducing a chilling new dimension to the already formidable reputation of shark apex predators. Thankfully, these creatures are confined to the annals of history, extinct and no longer prowling the depths of the ocean. Number 12. Tyrannosaurus rex. The Tyrannosaurus rex, affectionately known as the T-Rex, stands as one of the most iconic and feared dinosaurs to have ever roamed the Earth. This carnivorous theropod inhabited the late Cretaceous period, approximately 68 to 66 million years ago. Sporting a skull that could surpass five feet in length and boasting massive, powerful jaws filled with sharp teeth, the T-Rex undoubtedly reigned as a ferocious predator. Standing tall at about 20 feet and stretching up to 40 feet in length, weighing a staggering nine tons, the T-Rex was among the largest and heaviest predators of its time. Its colossal size granted it dominance in its environment, preying on other sizable dinosaurs like the Triceratops and Edmontosaurus. Despite its imposing stature and fearsome visage, the T-Rex possessed surprisingly small limbs. While muscular and powerful, these limbs were relatively ineffective for hunting, with the dinosaur relying predominantly on its formidable jaws and teeth to capture and consume prey. The mystery surrounding the T-Rex's diminutive arms continues to intrigue paleontologists, sparking ongoing debate and research. The T-Rex's teeth were its most formidable asset, measuring up to nine inches in length. These serrated, banana-shaped teeth were finely tuned for tearing flesh, and coupled with an incredibly potent bite force estimated at around 8,000 pounds per square inch, the T-Rex could crush bone and devour virtually any part of its prey. Fossil discoveries of the T-Rex have been widespread across North America, fueling extensive study and a myriad of theories regarding its behavior and lifestyle. Some experts speculate that the T-Rex may have been more of a scavenger than an active predator, while others argue vehemently for its prowess as a skilled hunter. Furthermore, ongoing discoveries hint at potential feathered ancestors, further enriching the discourse surrounding this legendary creature. Number 11. Spinosaurus. Imagine wandering through the ancient swamps of North Africa over 100 million years ago, and suddenly a colossal creature emerges from the murky waters. A Spinosaurus, the ultimate spine lizard of the late Cretaceous period. Towering up to 50 feet long and weighing a staggering 20 tons, this predator was a true behemoth, surpassing even the infamous Tyrannosaurus rex in size. With its sail-like structure protruding from its back, Spinosaurus cut an imposing figure, dominating its environment with its sheer size and power. But this giant wasn't just a land dweller. It was equally at home in the water, equipped with a long, crocodile-like snout and powerful limbs adorned with razor-sharp claws. Feasting on a diverse diet of fish, sharks, turtles, and even smaller dinosaurs, Spinosaurus was a versatile hunter capable of thriving in both aquatic and terrestrial habitats. Its unique adaptations, including its paddle-like tail for swift swimming, allowed it to carve out a niche for itself in the ancient ecosystem, with little competition from other predators. Despite its reign as a top predator, Spinosaurus eventually vanished from the Earth around 93 million years ago, leaving behind a legacy shrouded in mystery. While the exact reasons for its extinction remain elusive, Changes in sea levels, climate shifts, and competition for resources likely played a role. Today, the absence of Spinosaurus may be a relief for modern-day explorers, but its story continues to captivate scientists and enthusiasts alike. Through the study of its fossils, we gain valuable insights into the evolution of prehistoric reptiles and the complex ecosystems they once inhabited, reminding us of the rich tapestry of life that has existed on our planet throughout the ages. Number 10. Gigantopithecus. Gigantopithecus, an immense prehistoric ape, holds the distinction of being the largest primate ever to roam the Earth. This colossal creature, 
inhabited the tropical forests of Asia, primarily in what is now China, India, and Vietnam, during the Miocene and Pleistocene epochs, spanning approximately 9 million to 100,000 years ago. The discovery of Gigantopithecus fossils in the mid-20th century has provided captivating insights into primate evolution and the ecology of ancient forests. Standing at an estimated height of up to 10 feet tall and weighing as much as 1,200 pounds, Gigantopithecus towered over its primate relatives, including modern gorillas, orangutans, and humans. Despite its imposing size, Gigantopithecus is believed to have been primarily herbivorous, with a diet consisting largely of bamboo and other vegetation. Its massive jaw and large flat molars were expertly adapted for grinding and processing fibrous plant material, offering clear evidence of its dietary preferences. Life for Gigantopithecus revolved around the search for sustenance. Inhabiting dense tropical forests, this enormous ape likely spent much of its time foraging for food on the ground, utilizing its immense strength to harvest leaves, stems, and fruit from the surrounding vegetation. While Gigantopithecus may have had few natural predators due to its size, it likely faced competition from other large herbivores sharing its habitat. As the Pleistocene epoch progressed, significant shifts in climate and habitat began to reshape ecosystems worldwide. In Asia, the once lush tropical forests supporting Gigantopithecus and its preferred food sources began to recede, replaced by more open grassland environments. These ecological transformations likely placed substantial pressure on Gigantopithecus populations, leading to competition for dwindling resources with other herbivores. The exact cause of Gigantopithecus's extinction remains a topic of debate among scientists. Some propose that a combination of climate change, habitat loss, and competition from other species contributed to its downfall. Others suggest that the species' highly specialized diet may have played a pivotal role, as the decline in its preferred food sources left Gigantopithecus struggling to adapt. Number 9. Titanoboa Titanoboa, the largest snake ever known, slithered through South America's rainforests about 58 to 60 million years ago during the Paleocene epoch. This massive serpent, named Titanic boa, belonged to the boa family and was identified from well-preserved fossils in Colombia's Serajan Formation. Its discovery offers valuable insights into ancient reptiles' ecology, behavior, and evolution, along with the environmental conditions that supported such a colossal creature. Measuring a staggering 42 feet in length and weighing up to 2,500 pounds, Titanoboa dwarfed even today's largest snakes, like the green anaconda and reticulated python. Its immense size made it the apex predator in its ecosystem, facing minimal competition from other carnivores. With its long, muscular body and strong constriction abilities, Titanoboa was highly efficient at hunting, capable of overpowering various prey, including large mammals, birds, and reptiles. Like modern boas, Titanoboa likely relied on ambush tactics, using its keen sense of smell and heat-sensing pits to locate prey. Once close enough, it would strike, constricting its victims until they suffocated or their circulation ceased. After a big meal, Titanoboa could go for extended periods without eating due to its slow metabolism. The presence of such a massive snake during the Paleocene epoch sheds light on the era's environmental conditions. Titanoboa's size suggests the tropical rainforests it inhabited were much warmer than today possibly due to higher atmospheric carbon dioxide levels. This insight deepens scientists' understanding of climate's role in Earth's life evolution. Titanoboa disappeared around 56 million years ago as the Paleocene epoch shifted to the Eocene. The exact cause of its extinction remains debated, with some citing environmental changes like cooling temperatures or habitat alterations while others point to competition from new predators like large crocodilians. While many may be relieved that Titanoboa no longer roams the Earth, its story underscores the planet's diverse history. By studying this remarkable snake's remains, scientists continue unraveling reptile evolution and the ecosystems they inhabited, enriching our understanding of Earth's complex past. Number 8. Terror Birds the forest racidae, famously known as the terror birds, 
constituted a family of extinct flightless avians that once roamed the lands of South America and Antarctica approximately 70 million years ago. These remarkable creatures varied greatly in size, ranging from a mere 2.4 inches or 6 centimeters to an imposing 9.8 feet or 3 meters. Unlike their avian counterparts, terror birds lacked wings but compensated with powerful legs, enabling the larger species to achieve speeds of up to 31 miles per hour or 50 kilometers per hour. Predators by nature, terror birds utilized their robust legs, which scientists believe were specifically adapted for kicking to capture prey, including both smaller animals and larger predators. While the exact cause of their extinction remains a mystery, it is speculated that they vanished around 2 million years ago, shortly after the arrival of humans. An intriguing aspect often overlooked about terror birds is their diverse feeding habits. Researchers have uncovered that terror birds with elongated and slender beaks likely fed on insects and small animals, while those possessing short and powerful beaks were likely adept at hunting larger prey such as other birds and mammals. This insight has significantly contributed to our understanding of how terror birds foraged and thrived in their prehistoric environment. Through such discoveries, scientists continue to shed light on the fascinating world of terror birds, unraveling their behaviors, adaptations, and ultimately their place in the intricate tapestry of Earth's history. Number seven, giant ground sloth. The term giant ground sloth might bring to mind a slow and clumsy animal but it doesn't accurately portray one of the most fascinating mammals of the prehistoric era. These creatures, which lived in the Americas until around 11,000 years ago during the Pleistocene epoch, were anything but lazy. Unlike their modern tree-dwelling relatives, giant ground sloths were massive, reaching heights of up to 20 feet and weighing over four tons, making them some of the largest land mammals of their time. Despite their size, Giant ground sloths were well-equipped for survival. With large claws and strong muscles, they could dig for food and defend against predators. Their diet mainly consisted of plants, and their bodies were built to digest tough vegetation. Their limbs allowed them to move on both the ground and in trees, giving them access to a variety of plant resources. Although giant ground sloths were powerful, they weren't invincible. Fossils show evidence of attacks by large carnivores like saber-toothed tigers and large birds of prey. While their claws and thick skin offered some protection, younger or weaker sloths may have been vulnerable to these predators. The reasons for the extinction of giant ground sloths are complex and not fully understood. Changes in climate and ecosystems likely affected their food sources, and human hunting may have also played a role. However, Studying well-preserved remains, including footprints and dung, has provided valuable information about their behavior and interactions with the environment. Some ancient art suggests that indigenous peoples coexisted with giant ground sloths. Despite their name, these creatures demonstrate adaptability and survival in a challenging world. Their unique characteristics and ecological role help us understand the Pleistocene landscape and the diverse life that once thrived in the Americas. Number six, Arthropleura. Arthropleura, the largest known land-dwelling invertebrate, was a colossal millipede that roamed the swamps and forests of North America and Europe during the Carboniferous period, approximately 359 to 299 million years ago. This gigantic arthropod, belonging to the extinct Arthropleuridae family, is known from well-preserved fossils unearthed in various locations across North America and Europe. The study of Arthropleura has offered invaluable insights into the ecology, behavior, and evolution of ancient arthropods, as well as the unique environmental conditions prevailing during the Carboniferous period. Measuring up to 8.5 feet in length and 1.5 feet in width, Arthropleura cast an imposing figure in the ecosystems of its time, surpassing the vast majority of other land-dwelling invertebrates. Despite its intimidating size, Arthropleura is believed to have been herbivorous or detritivorous, with a diet primarily consisting of decomposing plant material and organic matter. Its robust exoskeleton, composed of numerous armored plates, provided protection from potential predators, 
while its many legs endowed it with surprising speed and agility on the forest floor. The existence of such a massive invertebrate during the Carboniferous period is closely tied to the unique environmental conditions of that era. High levels of atmospheric oxygen, possibly reaching concentrations as much as 35% higher than today's levels, facilitated the evolution of large, complex arthropods like Arthropleura. Additionally, the lush, swampy forests that characterized the Carboniferous landscape offered abundant food and shelter for these giant millipedes, enabling them to thrive in a world bursting with life. Arthropleura met its demise as the Carboniferous period transitioned into the Permian period approximately 299 million years ago. The exact cause of its extinction remains a topic of scientific debate, with some researchers suggesting changing environmental conditions, such as declining atmospheric oxygen levels or alterations in available habitat, while others propose competition from emerging predators like large amphibians and early reptiles. Before we move on, here's today's subscriber's pick. Check out this fascinating image. The hunter in this picture must be feeling incredibly lucky and thrilled about his recent kill. Looking at this creature, one can't help but wonder about its identity. With tusks and a body resembling a rhinoceros along with shark-like teeth, it's truly a unique specimen. Reflecting on the diversity of life forms that have roamed the earth before us, encountering such a creature reminds us to cherish and respect nature's wonders. Now the big question remains, what is the name of this extraordinary animal? Given its rarity, we're reaching out to our viewers for insights. Feel free to share your thoughts and guesses in the comments below. Let's delve into this intriguing mystery together. Number 5. Pulmona Scorpius. Meet the Pulmona Scorpius, a creature that epitomizes the terror of ancient times with its colossal size and formidable presence. Its name, derived from ancient Greek, translates to breathing scorpion, reflecting its status as a giant among scorpions. During the Carboniferous era, this ancient predator prowled the undergrowth, reaching lengths of up to 30 inches, making it a true behemoth of its time. Much like its modern descendants, the Pulmona scorpius was undoubtedly an apex predator, reigning supreme in the dense ecosystems and tropical undergrowth of its era. With its massive size and powerful venom-laden tail, it would have struck fear into the hearts of any creature that crossed its path. Employing ambush tactics, it would lie in wait for unsuspecting prey before lunging forward and delivering a lethal sting. What sets the Pulmona Scorpius apart from its modern counterparts is its preference for swampy conditions rather than the jungles, rainforests, or deserts inhabited by present-day scorpions. This divergence in habitat suggests a unique adaptation to the environmental conditions of the Carboniferous era. It is believed that the abundant oxygen levels during this time contributed to its extraordinary growth, allowing it to attain such a massive size and establish itself as a dominant predator in its swampy domain. The Pulmona Scorpia stands as a chilling reminder of the terrifying creatures that once roamed the Earth, showcasing the incredible diversity and adaptability of life throughout history. Number 4. Host's Eagle Host's Eagle, a formidable bird of prey, once ruled the skies of New Zealand as the apex predator during the Pleistocene and early Holocene epochs, spanning approximately 2.6 million to 11,000 years ago. Named after the esteemed 19th century geologist Sir Julius von Host, this colossal eagle belonged to the Aquila genus and is known from well-preserved fossils found across various locations in New Zealand. The study of Host's eagle has provided invaluable insights into the ecology, behavior, and evolution of prehistoric birds of prey, as well as the unique ecosystems that thrived on the islands before human settlement. With a wingspan stretching up to 10 feet and weighing as much as 33 pounds, Host's eagle was among the largest known birds of prey. Its powerful build, Sharp talons and formidable beak endowed it with the ability to capture and kill a wide variety of prey, including the massive flightless birds known as moa, which could weigh up to 500 pounds and stand as tall as 12 feet. Utilizing its exceptional eyesight, Host's eagle would have skillfully located and tracked its prey before swooping down at incredible speeds to deliver a swift, lethal strike. 
The extinction of Host's eagle is believed to have been closely linked to the arrival of humans in New Zealand around the year 1280. Human settlers introduced new hunting practices and introduced mammals such as rats and dogs, which disrupted the delicate balance of the island's ecosystems. The large, flightless birds that Host's eagle relied upon for sustenance, such as the moa, were hunted to extinction by human settlers, leading to a rapid decline in available prey for the massive eagle. With the disappearance of its primary food source, Host's eagle faced insurmountable challenges to its survival, ultimately leading to its extinction around the year 1400. Number 3. Liviatan. Picture yourself standing on the coast of Peru some 12 to 13 million years ago, gazing out over the ocean, when suddenly you notice a massive shadow gliding beneath the waves. That shadow would have been the Liviatan, the largest prehistoric whale to have ever roamed the seas. This colossal creature shared its watery domain with another formidable predator, the terrifying megalodon shark. Weighing in at about 110,000 pounds or 50,000 kilograms and measuring up to 56 feet or 17 meters in length, the Liviatan was truly a behemoth of the ancient oceans. In 2008, fossils of this prehistoric giant were discovered by a Dutch researcher from the Natural History Museum in Rotterdam. It's believed that Liviatan possessed incredibly strong jaw muscles, enabling it to hunt whales ranging from 23 to 33 feet or 7 to 10 meters in size. This mighty predator was a versatile hunter, preying upon a variety of species with unparalleled ferocity. No animal in the ocean was safe from the grasp of this ruler of the deep. Despite its awe-inspiring power and dominance, the Liviatan eventually met its end, succumbing to extinction. However, its legacy lives on through its closest living relative, the sperm whale. Number 2. Sarcosuchus When delving into the realm of terrifying ancient creatures, it's nearly impossible to overlook the colossal crocodiles that once roamed the earth. These razor-toothed behemoths have retained their formidable traits throughout the ages, making them some of the longest-lived species on the planet. Remarkably, modern crocodiles have remained relatively unchanged compared to their ancient ancestors, showcasing their remarkable ability to adapt and survive. Crocodiles as a species are the epitome of survival, having emerged around 200 million years ago. Astonishingly, they even outlived the dinosaurs by a staggering 65 million years, a testament to their resilience in the face of changing environments and challenges. It's no wonder, then, that the closest ancestor to modern crocodiles is the mighty Sarcosuchus, the largest crocodile to have ever graced the planet. Measuring over 40 feet in length, the Sarcosuchus was a true powerhouse of carnivorous might, dominating the ancient seas with unparalleled ferocity. Despite its immense size and fearsome reputation, the Sarcosuchus would have shared many similarities with its modern counterparts, remaining relatively unchanged throughout its evolutionary journey. As the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And this ancient predator epitomized that sentiment. Weighing in at over 10 tons, the Sarcosuchus possessed a unique genetic condition that allowed it to continually grow throughout its lifespan. This astonishing trait suggests that there may have been even larger versions of this terrifying creature yet to be discovered, lurking in the depths of prehistory, awaiting their moment to be unearthed. Number 1. Mosasaurus Mosasaurus, a mighty marine reptile from the late Cretaceous period, ruled the seas about 82 to 66 million years ago. Unlike the dinosaurs spotlighted in this video, Mosasaurus belonged to the Mosasaur family, which included marine lizards akin to today's monitor lizards and snakes. Mosasaurus and its relatives were apex predators, playing crucial roles in the bustling marine ecosystems of their time. This creature, stretching up to 50 feet in length, possessed a streamlined body, a strong tail, and fearsome conical teeth reaching four inches in length. Its four paddle-like limbs facilitated swift movement, while its elongated snout and robust jaw enabled it to capture and consume various prey, such as fish, ammonites, and other marine reptiles. Mosasaurus likely relied on ambush tactics for hunting, 
utilizing its sharp senses to track and seize unsuspecting victims, delivering lethal bites with its powerful jaws. As a top predator, Mosasaurus played a vital role in regulating prey populations and shaping the evolution of other marine species. However, like many of its contemporaries, Mosasaurus succumbed to the mass extinction event marking the end of the Cretaceous period, coinciding with the demise of non-avian dinosaurs. Factors like a massive asteroid impact, volcanic eruptions, and shifts in climate contributed to this catastrophic event, altering ecosystems worldwide and leading to the extinction of numerous species, including Mosasaurus. While its disappearance may alleviate concerns about the challenges posed by such a formidable predator today, Mosasaurus's legacy reminds us of the extraordinary diversity of life that has graced our planet. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.